Is it too late to move to Disney? Let's get into it. Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie here, back for another video about moving to Orlando. We did a video 11 months ago asking if it was the right time to purchase a house next to Disney World, and there has been a ton of changes yeah. since we bought our house 15 months ago. But before we get into it, if you would like help booking your next trip to the most magical place on Earth, or Universal, or to a cruise or an all-inclusive, <laughs> please reach out to us. We would love to help you. Uh, we moved here to focus on our travel agency, Fantastical Vacations. Yes, so you can reach over at fantasticalvacations.com, uh, fill out a quote request over there, and even select the uh, travel advisor that you would like to work with. And if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. It yes. would really help us out. If you are new to the channel, we moved our family of four most recently, about three months ago, to live next to Disney World. Prior to that, though, we actually bought our house almost a full year in advance of the move. So it has been 15 months since we contracted, since we made the offer and signed a contract to purchase our home. And we are going to examine what has happened with that and translate that into this year and see if maybe it is too late to move to Disney. It's actually been almost four months since we moved. Four months. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> when we bought our house, knowing that we were gonna move in December of 2021, um, we bought our house, it, we actually made an offer on it in February and closed on, in March. And our friends and family thought we were crazy for going ahead and buying this house. So at the time, there was a ton of speculation on what the market would do. So we started looking for houses back in November of 2020. We thought we were going to get a new build, which is why we ultimately started looking so early. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. Um, actually, fast forward to we went to uh, drive through that neighborhood where we almost bought a new build. <laughs> um, what happened was the reason we didn't is because um, they sold the lot that we wanted out from underneath us to someone else. They had already promised it to us um, and they sold it to somebody else and they offered us a different lot. So we wanted to just see where they were with that. The <laughs> house still isn't done yet. <laughs> yeah, the house that in the lot that we originally wanted is almost done, but it's still not completed. And then the house on the lot that they offered us is just cinder blocks. Like there's not even a second story, so. I would be so mad. <laughs> so the reason that we were looking so far in advance, like a full year, over a year in advance, was so that we could have time to build the house, to close on it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah. we ended up obviously buying a resale home, which was an incredible decision, yes. best decision, and um, we'll get into that here in a minute. Yeah. But yeah, whenever we started looking, people thought we were nuts. Our friends and family thought we were nuts. They um, they hadn't even absorbed the fact that we wanted to move to Orlando <laughs> yet, much less that we were looking actively to buy a house that early. I think that it was kind of all a lot of information all at once. And so, um, it, and it did, it seemed kind of bizarre even when we first started talking about like, okay, if we find what we like, we should jump on it. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why? We we still have nine months. Even our realtor was uh, thought we were being a little aggressive. Anyway, it worked out very, very well. Yes. We locked in with a great interest rate. Um, it all worked out very, very well. We're very, very happy, but it was total luck. Absolute luck. Yeah. I mean, nothing about it was planned. It was all <laughs> luck. <laughs> we're not geniuses or anything. No. It was just luck. <laughs> even even like going through Winding Bay was the neighborhood that we almost bought. And even going through there and seeing that the two lots that we were um, almost bought on weren't done yet. Like we would be here four months without it. Anyway, it was luck. Total luck. Back to last January when we were making an offer, um, there was a ton of market speculation on what was going on because we ended up having to offer for 3% higher than the list cost of the house to even get the house. Um, and there were other offers that matched ours. We just happened to be the first one and I guess that's why they went with us. Yeah, we read a lot of comments um, from people like on Facebook and stuff that they were waiting to move until prices came back down. That obviously didn't happen. I mean, so it, it was, it was kind of like at the beginning of that crazy escalation of all of the real estate kind of everywhere, right? But particularly here in Orlando. 
Yeah, and what ended up happening is we locked into a 2.625 interest rate for 30 years and the value of our house ended up increasing quite a bit. Bottom line, we weren't trying to time the market, right? So we knew that we wanted to stay in this house for the long term. And so mentally, the reason that we decided to go ahead and purchase at what a lot of people were saying was the top of the market. Like, I don't know how many Facebook comments we read on moving to Florida, moving to Orlando groups of like, this is crazy, the prices are high, we're gonna wait it out till they come back down. It didn't. <laughs> like, yeah. like, prices are way higher now than they were uh, 14 months ago. So, yeah. um, but again, it was luck on our part. But the reason we decided to go ahead and do that would, at, at a time that could have been the height of the market was that we knew we didn't want to risk not having a house to move into. And yeah. turns out if we had signed that contract way back when, we still wouldn't be living in that new build home. Um, and if we had waited, we may not be, have been able to find a house before we moved down. Or find a house that we could afford. To be clear, the big takeaway here is to never try to time the market. We knew that if we purchased the house and we moved in and the value of all the houses around us cratered, we didn't care because we were where we wanted to be for the long term. Conversely, what happened was the value of homes around us continued to rise and we could, hello kitten, and we could uh, sell our house and make a profit. But that's not why we bought it and it doesn't matter because we're not selling our house so it doesn't matter that the price went up or went down so um whichever way so we're, we we don't realize that we're never going to realize that profit at least in the short term because we're not selling the house right. um so we were protected either way what whatever the market did and i think that's the biggest thing to understand is that when you make the decision don't go into it trying to time the market. Timing the market never work. I mean, it sometimes works, but it's never a good strategy because yeah. no one knows. Um, I have read countless articles this morning just looking into this about what mortgage rates are going to do and what inter and um, what home values, real estate values are going to do, and it's all over the place. Yeah, I, no one knows. No one knows. I mean, so I went back and looked at an article from February that said um, from three different sources, one was the National Association of Realtors, they were all projecting that mortgage rates would hit 4% by the end of the year, the end of this year. They just hit 5% earlier this month. So that was way off. So like nobody really knows. I've seen projections to where mortgage rates are gonna continue to climb to 8.5% in 2026. Does anyone really know? No, no one really knows. Yeah, no one knows. Home prices right now are higher than ever. I mean, there is a very low supply. If you're someone who likes to play around on Zillow or realtor.com or whatever, then you've you've seen this, that there just isn't a lot out there. And if you have certain parameters that you're looking for, that pool of houses shrinks even more. So there's a high demand of people wanting to get in houses, a low supply, and it's just causing the prices to continue to rise. A big part of this is inflation, right? Um, and that's also causing the mortgage rates to go up. And so one thing to consider, if you're considering the financial aspect of the decision to purchase, ha purchase a house, and if it's too late, I mean, did you miss the best time to buy? Mm -hmm. I don't think either one of those should be the determining factor. Number one, mortgage rates just hit 5% earlier this month. If they go up to eight and a half percent, five percent is a really good rate. Five percent is a really good rate. Five percent is the first time it's hit five percent since 2011. But prior to that, like our first house that we bought was six and a half percent, and that was a pretty good rate at the time. So, five percent is still historically a great interest rate, even though it's not the 2.65 <laughs> you know that we were able to get last year. It's still a great interest rate. Yeah. So I don't think that is prohibitive. Um, and I'm not sure I would make the decision to wait around for interest rates to come back down. Who knows if that ever happens again or or when it happens again. And then if you make the decision just based on the real estate market and the fact that there may be a correction or maybe this inflation will cause buying pressure to ease and so there will be less people in the market and so maybe housing prices do come back down. And again, um, the predictions are they continue to climb or maybe they do come back down a little bit. No one really knows. <laughs> but again, if you make the decision based off of uh, what is best for you and your family, then it doesn't matter because you're not gonna sell the house in the short term anyway, so who cares if they go up or go down in the short term um, because that's not why you're buying it right now. Right. This may be the absolute worst time to buy, but then it also could be the best time to buy. We yeah. just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer the question, if you've missed the perfect time to move to Disney World, I think the answer is 
unequivocally no. Yeah. Um, just looking at our story, I mean, no one knows what is gonna happen to the real estate market and the mortgage industry in the next 12 months or the next right. 24 months. So it could be the worst time to absolutely buy if um, in a month mortgage rates do dip back down or if the value of the real estate market goes, goes down but it could be the best time to buy because no one knows for sure and both of those could continue to rise. So like Dan said, you have to make this decision based off what's right for your family. So if it is the right time for your family to move to Disney, then do it. Go ahead and take that plunge and jump in and, and buy a house. If it's, if it's not, if, if, the, if your family is still struggling with this or you're just, you're trying to push it or put a square peg into a round hole, whatever it is, then maybe wait. Yeah, and don't listen to the naysayers. Like we had a lot of people, I even had comments on YouTube videos that we were making about our journey moving down. You weren't born in Florida and so you're not um, a true Floridian or, or <laughs> you shouldn't move or all this nonsense. Don't <laughs> listen to any of that. Like there is a ton of great stuff to do here and we love it. It was the best decision for us. Bottom line, no, it is not too late. You did not miss the boat, um, but if you are looking to make a short-term profit on real estate, I'm not sure that it's the best time for that. We would never buy a house to make a short-term profit in um, in any market, trying to time that market, yeah. let alone this one. It is a little bit crazy. It is a little bit crazy. But if moving to Disney right now is right for your family, then we would not wait to try to time the market. We always say, you know, there's no time like the present. And for mm -hmm. us, like it was a dream and we waited in a, a fairly long time to make sure that our finances were in order. Um, but once they were, we did not hesitate. We came down and it has been the best decision for us. So if any of you are thinking or on the fence about whether you've missed the boat on moving and, and you know, real estate is crazy and you're going to continue to wait years and years and years that may be what's right for you and your in in your um in your specific circumstance but if if it makes sense for you for all of the other reasons then we say go for it go for it hopefully this was helpful for all of you out there that are on the fence trying to decide if now's the right time or you should wait or should you have done it 11 months ago or whatever all of those battling thoughts are. Um, so if you're enjoying our videos, please like and subscribe to them so that you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.